Patch deployment is often scheduled as part of a regular maintenance window. New patches are typically tested on a few non-critical systems before being deployed widely to minimize any adverse impact. However, there may be occasions where patching can't wait, such as a newly disclosed vulnerability with known exploits, if left unpatched, would expose the organization to significant risk. With the Falcon platform, security practitioners now have the ability to identify critical vulnerabilities and also address them with one-off patch deployment. Spotlight users can now take advantage of this one-click action to deploy Windows Update patches to specific hosts. In the Falcon console, on the Spotlight dashboard, we can get a quick overview of vulnerabilities currently in our organization. We've also added some additional filters to focus on Microsoft Windows vulnerabilities. As we scroll down, the Spotlight dashboard has a section listing the patches that would resolve the greatest number of exploitable Windows vulnerabilities. Clicking on the top recommendation, we see a list of hosts that have vulnerabilities which can be addressed by this remediation. By clicking on a specific host, additional details are made available, such as current vulnerabilities and the associated patches, such as the Windows 10 Security Update, KB4586786. From here, users will be able to install the recommended patch directly from the Spotlight console. After clicking the Install Patch button, the host's local Windows Update service will attempt to download and install the patch. A success message indicates that the process has started, not that it has completed. Depending on the size of the patch, this could take some time. When the patching process is complete, there are two ways to confirm that it was successfully installed. The Installed Patches Falcon Console link will take you to a page within Spotlight, where you can check to see if the patch was successfully installed on that host. Because it may take some time for the sensor to report any newly installed patches, clicking the Connect to Host button will allow us to use RTR to check the patch status quickly. In conjunction with the Emergency Patching feature, Real-Time Response has also added the Update command, which provides patching functionality via the RTR console. By typing Help Update, we see the options available. To find out if the recent patch installation attempt was successful, I can use Update Query to see if a patch was recently installed. The output includes additional details such as the patch title and description. And even though we've already installed the patch, we can see here that in order for it to go into effect, a reboot is required. After the reboot, we use the Update History command to view recent updates and their status. We could also use the update query command again and see that there are no longer updates available for that host, indicating that the installation was successful. When there's a trending vulnerability that cannot be addressed quickly enough through the normal patch process, Spotlight's Patch Now feature enables users to easily and surgically remediate vulnerabilities, reducing the attack surface and proactively decreasing the chance of being breached due to unpatched vulnerabilities.